Pennsylvania State Route 33. Yeah. Alright, hello everyone, I am Cornwallis 437 and in this video, I will be talking about Pennsylvania State Route 33. It is a short, about 30 mile route that connects Interstate 78 up with Interstate 80 in far eastern Pennsylvania. So if we look on the map, we can see that Pennsylvania Route 33 starts at an interchange with Interstate 78 near the town of Easton, Pennsylvania and goes north, again, pretty short route up to Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania where it will meet Interstate 80 and it is also a freeway the entire time so that is pretty interesting and I just want to remind you all if you like the video please be sure to give it a like leave a comment if you have any feedback for me or if you want to discuss anything about this highway and of course if you really enjoy it be sure to subscribe, hit the, hit the notification bell, all of that good stuff. So, with all of that out of the way, let's talk about northbound Pennsylvania State Route 33. And here we are on Interstate 78 going eastbound towards New York. And we get this overhead exit sign that lists... Pennsylvania 33 to US Route 22 and we are assigned for Stroudsburg and I'm gonna be honest I think that is the correct choice for this entire route going northbound because well that's where it goes and it meets Interstate 80 there and you know it's Interstate 80 like Having an option to get on that route, I feel, is not worth not putting on a sign, so, yeah. And there's really nothing else I feel that is super Control City worthy along the way. So, yeah, I would say Strasbourg is fine for the entire route going northbound. And then, interestingly, before we even get on the ramp to get on Pennsylvania Route 33 northbound, we see this mile 0 0.1 sign, which is really interesting because, again, technically we're still kind of on Interstate 78. We haven't really exited Interstate 78. So that's a little weird, but hey, you know what? I appreciate that we get some mile signs. That's cool. And then here, after we have gotten off of Interstate 78, we go on this ramp. Pretty cool ramp here. It goes all twisty turny for a little bit. And then Shortly after we begin Pennsylvania State Route 33, we are, cross we are crossing the Lehigh River on the Gene Hartzell Memorial Bridge. I think that's how you pronounce that guy's name. I'm not 100% sure, but either way, we get this overhead um, sign listing a laundry list of exits that you can take to get to Bethlehem and Easton with US 22 being the last one three miles away. And here is a look at the Lehigh River as we cross it. Again, since this is a pretty short route, I figured I'd try to show some scenic highlights along the way. This one being pretty early into the route again. And here is our first reassurance keystone that we will see on Pennsylvania Route 33 going northbound. 
And then here is our interchange for US 22, sign east for Easton, even though we're already like pretty much in Easton. So I don't know why you wouldn't go with something in New Jersey. Um, yeah, I mean, if there's somewhere else that it goes that's bigger, I'm not the biggest US Route 22 aficionado. If anyone wants to suggest like a different control city for that route, please leave it down in the comments below. I'd like to hear your suggestions about that. Although, I might also do a whole video on US 22 later, so I don't know, maybe I shouldn't be stressing out too much about it, but again, this is a really short road. I, again, I can't really stress that enough. It's not like we're dealing with like a 500 mile US route or, <laughs> heck, I got a request from the Dirt Pog to cover US Route 19, so I feel like I can talk about this as much as I want, and this is still not gonna be a very long video. But either way, then US Route 22 Westbound is signed for Bethlehem, which I agree. That's what should be there because, well, it's it's a US route. Like, come on, I don't think Allentown is like super necessary to sign. Because Bethlehem is pretty big on its own. It's a suburb of Allentown. And I think signing suburbs like that are fine to do on US routes. But anyway, this is on US 22, and at the exit for Pennsylvania 33, we are still signed for Stroudsburg. Again, I agree with that. And then here we can see our first mileage sign is almost 12 miles north of Interstate 78 because we've had a lot of exits in a really short distance. So here's the first mileage sign that we see, and we can see that wind gap is on the top line, four miles away, and we have Stroudsburg on the bottom line at 19 miles away, which is good, because, again, I don't really think that you need anything else as a control city. And here is Wind Gap, Pennsylvania. We get an exit for Pennsylvania Route 512, which goes into Wind Gap. And in the background, we can see that we are about to go into the mountains here. And this route is about to get really, really beautiful. Oh my god, this is an amazing view right here. And then if we look down at Pennsylvania Route 512, we can see, once again, our signage for Stroudsburg, 10 miles away. And then here's a view on Pennsylvania 33, again, as we go through the mountains. And then here, as we start to get a little closer to Stroudsburg, we get a junction with US Route 209, and we get this sign telling us that if you want to get to Interstate 80 and go to Stroudsburg, you will want to stay on Pennsylvania 33 because you can also get off at US Route 209 here. And then we get this sign telling us that US 209 at Bushkill is close to commercial vehicles as we also get um, some nice looking trees in the background because I think this picture was from fall of 2013 so about exactly 10 years ago as of recording this and then we've become concurrent with northbound US Route 209 as we get a mileage sign for Snydersville and Stroudsburg in the distance. Here's a better look at that mileage sign. And then US 209 leaves 
Pennsylvania Route 33, and we get these signs telling us that it is two eastbound Interstate 80, and if you want to go west on Interstate 80, you will want to stay on Pennsylvania Route 33 in three quarters of a mile. And then here we get these signs with a little more information telling us the control cities of both Pennsylvania 33 and Interstate 80. Interstate 80 gets horribly signed for Stroudsburg, which is like five miles down the road east of where Pennsylvania 33 dumps into Interstate 80, something like that. Either way, you know, of course, Interstate 80 should always be signed eastbound for New York in Pennsylvania. There's no reason for any of the meeny, meeny little towns it passes through. There's no reason for that to be on the signs. Um, but then we get northbound Pennsylvania Route 33 to westbound Interstate 80, Bartonsville and Hazleton. Ugh. No. That should not be Hazleton. That should be... Well, you know what? I'll talk about this more in a little bit because I think there is quite an interesting conundrum for the control city that 80 West should have here. And then here, as we're about to have our left exit where Pennsylvania 33 exits itself, we got two East 80 and two West 80 on both sides of the highway here. That's pretty cool. And in the distance, we also have um, the actual signs for um, North 209 to East 80 with the control cities listed. So we will make our left exit now. And then here we got a sign that tells us that the end of the road is coming up in a mile and a half. And again, we get Hazleton and Bartonsville with the latter being the control city for Pennsylvania Route 611. And of course, 80 is signed for Hazleton. Here is another sign for that exit, now a half a mile away. And then here we get end Pennsylvania Route 33 and then Junction Interstate 80 and Pennsylvania Route 611 at mile 28.1. Here we get these overhead signs telling us that if we want to go west on Interstate 80 to Hazleton, you will want to be in the left lane, and if you want to go on Pennsylvania Route 611 to Bartonsville, you will want to be in the right lane. And you know what? Let's talk about this Interstate 80 Hazleton business. Let's talk about the conundrum that I mentioned. Now, I believe that there were actually two possible different control city choices for Interstate 80 going west of Stroudsburg and this whole eastern Pennsylvania region. Just after we have our junction for Interstate 380, which goes to Scranton, Todd from Control City Freak did not mention this in either of his Interstate 80 videos, which I find kind of baffling, although maybe he just didn't want to include this because the video was already like super long. Both videos were over half an hour. 
or maybe he just did not know that this intersection existed. But after we meet Interstate 380, which goes to Scranton, we meet Interstate 476, which is also the northeast extension of the Pennsylvania Turnpike, which by the way, Xavier456 made a pretty cool video about that. Which I will link up in the corner. Um, but that goes to Allentown, which I think is also Control City worthy if you're going west on 80. Now, okay, I could see the argument against it being, well, like if you were coming from New York, wouldn't you just take 78? Which, yeah, fair, but like. If you're not coming from New York and you want to go to Allentown, like if you're coming from Stroudsburg, well, I guess you could take Pennsylvania 33, but like I don't I don't I don't know. I still think Allentown would be a better control city for 80 going westbound than freaking Hazelton. I mean, you could also do Scranton, of course, yeah, but, like, I wouldn't argue with Allentown either. So, yeah. Either way, get rid of Hazleton. Put Scranton or Allentown on there. One of those. Or do both. I don't care. Just pend I get rid of Hazleton. We do not need it on there. It is completely unnecessary. Ugh. And then after um, Pennsylvania Route 33 has ended, even though we already got the end signs, we still continue to get mile signs. This one being 28.3 miles north of Interstate 78. And here is our ultimatum between taking the ramp to Interstate 80 to go west to Hazleton, or getting on Pennsylvania Route 611 to go to Bartonsville or Stroudsburg. So that will wrap up northbound Pennsylvania State Route 33. Now let's talk about southbound Pennsylvania State Route 33. And here we are on Interstate 80 going eastbound to northbound US Route 209. And we don't get a control city on this pull through here, despite the fact that it should be New York City. Um, but then we can see that we will have an exit in a quarter of a mile for Pennsylvania Route 611 for Bortonsville. And then we will be taking exit 302A to South U.S. Route 209, Snydersville. Snydersville. Which isn't even like an incorporated place. Okay, then. Like, I know this is a Pennsylvania State route, but, like... I don't know, I just feel like that shouldn't be there. We should have like an actual place. I think I would rather see like Wind Gap or something. Um, but like I think I think I'll talk about this more later on, but no. Snydersville should not be on there. That is just silly. So I think that's pretty much just where um, our brief concurrency with 209 will end, but... Anyway, here we are merging onto Pennsylvania Route 33 to start the route. And we get our first reassurance keystone on the southbound route, as we also get a 2 South US 209. And then here we have an exit for Business 209, which is actually the route to Snydersville. 
and no tractor trailers are permitted on this exit. So this was the reason for signing Snydersville, which I don't agree with at all. There should be something else on there. Again, I'll discuss that in a bit. And then here, interestingly, we get this Junction South US 209 as we go into this Y Junction where 209 traffic will merge in with us. So that's, again, pretty interesting. And then at the end of our brief southbound concurrency with US 209, US 209 gets signed for Lee Highton. And then we get a mileage sign with Sailorsburg, Wind Gap, and Easton. And... You know, again, despite the fact that this is a state route, I do not think that Easton should be on the bottom line. Because... The southern end of this route is Interstate 78, and... I think there are much more important places you could list on Interstate 78 in both directions. So honestly, like, get rid of Sailorsburg, have Wind Gap be the top line, Easton in the middle, and um, again, we'll talk about this more in a little bit. And then we get another mileage sign. This one only has two lines. And we have Easton and Bethlehem. So I think Bethlehem is at least a little better. Although maybe I think it should be on the top line here instead. And all right, you know what? I'm going to stop dancing around it. I was thinking about just waiting until we got to Interstate 78 to discuss it, but you know what? Screw it. Screw it. I'm just going to say it. Um, here's the thing about Allentown. It is a pretty big city with like a hundred thousand people. I think it's the third largest city in Pennsylvania or fourth largest one of those. Um, but I think Harrisburg is also kind of important to mention because Interstate 78 going westbound will dead end on um, Inter Interstate 78 going westbound will dead end on Interstate 81 and then obviously Interstate 81 is the route to Harrisburg so I think we could have Harrisburg and Allentown dual control them, I say. They're both pretty important to mention. And then, well, I said there's an important city eastbound on 78, although now that I think about it, maybe if you're going to New York, um, like, if you're doing the exact thing that we're doing this video, like you're on Interstate 80 and you're going eastbound, if you're going to New York, I guess you could just stay on Interstate 80, but like... 78, of course, should be signed for New York. Because like... It goes to New York, like... Like... Why, why, why am I elaborating on this? Like... There's all the reasons that New York should be a control city going eastbound on Interstate 78 and what... So... Here is actually some pretty goddamn good signage for Pennsylvania. We see that we will have our junction with Interstate 78. We get that four miles in advance. Pretty advanced warning. And look at 78's control cities. It gets New York City and Harrisburg. Two distant beefy populated cities like yeah of course i just mentioned that allentown is bigger than harrisburg by like a factor of two but like i mean is it really that important because here is also our junction with us 22 which is signed for allentown like 
I feel like if you're going to Allentown, like, why not just get off here? Like, I don't imagine that getting on 78 will save all that much time. And then again, 22 eastbound is signed for Easton. Um, once, once again, I think if you want to argue with me, like if you have any, any naysaying to do about the choices that I think, again, um, leave them in the comments below because I'd, I'd like to talk about that more with you guys. And like, I, I don't know. This is all just my two cents on this stuff. Um, so, like, if you disagree with me, I'd like to have civil discussion about that. Um, there were some great comments on, uh, the 322 Westbound video, which I will leave up here in the corner. And I'd like to have some more discussion like that. But anyway, let's move on, and here we get another overhead. Um, we get a little more information about Interstate 78 that um, traffic will default onto Interstate 78 westbound. You have to get over if you want to go to eastbound 78. And we got New Jersey also thrown on the board for eastbound, and we also get Allentown on there. So, you know what? I said if you're going to Allentown, you might as well just take US-22, but I'm not going to complain too much about this signage because, again, this is pretty damn good Pennsylvania signage right here. Good, good job, PennDOT. And then here on the pavement, we get east and west. Again, telling you which which lane you want to get in, depending on what direction of 78 you're going towards. And then we get this side of the road sign just saying eastbound Interstate 78 left lane. So that's not great. But then in the distance, we get this sign that is pretty much just a reprise of what we saw before as we cross the Lehigh River once again and um, New York City and Allentown and Harrisburg are all in there so again that is just a fantastic PennDOT sign and then here we get our southbound and Pennsylvania Route 33 Keystone and in the distance we can see that there is one lane for eastbound Interstate 78 going to New Jersey and New York City and two lanes for westbound 78 going to Allentown and Harrisburg and again that is just perfectly done and here is a closer look at those signs now, the end of southbound Pennsylvania Route 33 is just as quirky as the beginning and ending of the northbound route because if we take a closer look at this picture, we can see that as we're getting onto the ramp for Interstate 78 westbound, we can see that we have a mile 71.5 marker Interstate 78 West, when we're still just getting on the ramp, we haven't even actually got on Interstate 78. And then if we try to go eastbound, we get a similar thing here. We get an eastbound Interstate 78 mile 70.9 marker. And the reason that this is really weird is because if we look back on northbound Pennsylvania State Route 33, we can see that before we even get on Interstate 78 from southbound Pennsylvania 33, there is still technically, according to this sign right here, 0 0.8 miles left, at least at this point, if we look back northbound. 
So, yeah, that's a little weird. We technically get 78 mile markers when technically, yes, we did get our end Pennsylvania Route 33 Keystone, but the designation technically still goes on until getting back on Interstate 78. So, that's really weird. But. With that, we will move on to Quarter Launch 437s the way it should be for Pennsylvania State Route 33. And this will be pretty simple. Going northbound, it should just be Stroudsburg all the way because, again, that's where it goes, meets Interstate 80. And that, I think that's fine enough for a Pennsylvania State Route. And then going southbound, a little more complicated, but still not really that much so again just um dual, dual control allentown and harrisburg maybe for a wind gap on there nah, I, I i don't i don't know this really should not be such a hard route to sign so with all that said thank you for watching this video about pennsylvania route 33 um I will be taking a short, like, two week or so break from making these Control City videos. Um, I kind of want to focus on some of the other content that I do on this channel. So, then I will be doing US Route 219. So, that ought to be fun. And then after that, um,. Well, I'm not sure if US Route 219 will be in two parts or one part, because it's also a kind of long US Route, like 322. So we'll see if it's in one or two parts or not. Because also, when I do US 219, I'm not going to focus so much on like every little junction and stuff. Um, but then after that, the Dirt Pog wanted to see US Route 19 on my channel, so that'll be. Just, it might even be like a whole little series because US Route 19 splits into eastbound, um, US 19E and W, and it is a long, long, long north and southbound US route. But again, with all that said, Thank you so much for watching this Pennsylvania Route 33 video. It actually ended up being a lot longer than I thought it would be. Um, stay tuned for US Route 219, and until the next video, everyone, goodbye.